In the last election, I voted for Rachel Notley, not Jason Kenney. I do not belong to a provincial political party. Hi, I'm Gordon from Calgary, Alberta. I do not do this for a living. I'm trying to get it done at night while my kids asleep. Canada has to make real step changes to reduce greenhouse gas, including carbon emissions. The single best way of doing that is through nuclear technology. When we got news about 18 months ago that U3 had signed the initial memorandum of understanding on small modular nuclear reactor technology, my first reaction was, what about us? How did you forget Alberta? So I'm glad that we're now in this group to work together to find a Canadian solution for power production that is zero emitting. This is the best news I've ever heard. So ask Rachel Notley if she would abandon such an agreement if she was elected premier. She did not directly answer the question, but stated, historically, our party has been opposed because of safety concerns. Here's some facts about nuclear power. Not once has a nuclear incident caused a death in Canada, ever. Used nuclear fuel has never harmed anyone, anywhere. Nuclear power has a lower life cycle carbon footprint than even solar power. This is because nuclear power does not involve combustion. Nothing burns. Nuclear power does not pollute the air or water. Nuclear is clean energy. Canadians manufacture nuclear reactors. We don't import them like wind turbines or solar panels. Canadian nuclear has a Canadian supply chain. You know, I get very frustrated when political voices demand big reductions in emissions while simultaneously opposing zero-emitting nuclear. We've got to get in this game so we can have a SMR platform that we could sell around the world, including to meet Alberta's future energy needs. And with that, we'll now sign the agreement. The single largest decarbonization accomplishment in North America took place in Ontario, thanks to Canadian nuclear power. The biggest decarbonization failure on the planet is taking place in Germany because they are shutting down their nuclear reactors. Germans burn biomass, coal, Russian natural gas, and euros to make up the shortfall. We're here to share the truth about nuclear power and to challenge those who are lying about it. A lot of us are from Alberta.